Hey everyone. Okay, I see here, and I didn't find any clay overnight. Yeah, that's kind of uh, unfortunate. So, what I have done is basically grabbed everything and I'm moving out. Doesn't really matter that I left a forge and a campfire in the bathroom of what I now know is the Shotgun Messiah store. Took a little time to read through the release notes since when I first saw them I was, well, I had met a little busy at the time, so thought I should go ahead and take a little closer look just to kind of get a better idea of what I am talking about, and yeah. So here we are. Not quite sure what the game plan is other than it's still early game and ideally... Oh, look at that. There is a brand new shotgun. Wow. It's funny, when I was playing around before in my kind of test game, I managed to find a... Hmm, it's gonna say a pistol, but really I found two pistols before day one was out. And here we go, now I have a shotgun. Although I really should make a new stone axe. This one is, uh... This one's pretty much toast. Here, let's go ahead and just burn it up right quick. And you know what? I'm going to take a look around, because... There's a lot of zombies in the neighborhood. Hmm. Got a bunch behind me. Bunch ahead of me. And look at that. Just enough. So let's go ahead and keep going. I'll stop and make a new axe in a moment. Kind of thought it wouldn't be a bad idea to get a couple more logs just to have some sticks. Iron boots and glass jar. Well, not too shabby find right there. Let's see, iron boots. Let's go ahead and let's put this stuff on. Iron boots, sunglasses, and otherwise naked. Poor, poor character. Really skinny too, so not perhaps going to do all that well in this harsh world. So where to go? Um, let's go ahead and go north. This will end up taking me back toward the hub city. That way I at least know there's a city in the neighborhood. I'm not taking the lead weights for now. I'm actually going to stop collecting blueberries in a moment here. I do need to get another sharp stone going. So, oh, you know what? I forgot I don't have any sticks because I used the last of them to create bolts. So, let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Get rid of her. Yeah, I thought I might have a following. Oh, I was about to stop. Okay, um, this... Yeah, this doesn't look too bad here. So, I need stick, that, and that guy, and now I can go ahead and continue on. And let's put that in number two for now, and I'll put the shotgun up in a little while here, but I really don't have many rounds for it, so there's not a whole lot of point right now. Um, just because. Let's go ahead and get rid of that guy. Hey, do you have anything interesting? Not at all. Kind of want this, this, uh, I was about to call it a club, this axe to break. So, there we go. Break it over that guy's face. And look at that, I got a pipe out of it. That will be helpful because... I ended up wasting one by dropping a forge I couldn't use. Man. What can you do though, right? Looks like this road has now taken a turn west. I'm not sure I want to continue to the west. Actually, you know what, I will for a moment, if for no other reason than to get clay. Since I'm going to be right on the riverbank here. Um, I feel like I should go ahead and get rid of this guy. Nothing on you. Okay, so... Need to find some clay. Um... I 
I guess I'll just start digging. I know I have company. I hear them. Well, maybe not. I have an undetected, but I could have sworn I heard someone. Sand. And I think right there is clay. Let's hope, because it has the right coloring for it. I ended up spending quite a bit of time, well, not quite a bit of time, but multiple game hours for uh, what that's worth in that hole I had started. Man, can't the guy get a little peace and quiet here? Oops. Yeah, that was bad timing. In that hole that I had dug outside of the shotgun store, hoping that I would find some clay. Never did, obviously. Otherwise, I might not have been so quick to leave. I might have spent a day there just making stuff. But I want to make sure I grab a good few lumps right now. Because I would like to make sure I have plenty of clay when it comes time to making a mold. Alright, I might have to be fine with two. Because... I have company. Well, not too bad, actually. Oh, that's frustrating. That sure looked to me like it went right through his face. Maybe it didn't. Ah, yep, that one did too. Although, it looked like it went through his hair. Guess I'm aiming a touch too high, huh? So, let's take care of that. Oh, look at that. Antibiotics. That'll be helpful. And let's go ahead and check this guy, too. Quickly. Alright, I'm having targeting problems here. Um, I ended up leaving all my trophies. So I guess I'll leave those ones, too. Okay, so at the end of the biome here, they changed it so... You don't move as quickly in sand. Not sand, sorry, I was looking at the sand and so I said that. You don't move as quickly through water as you used to. Oh man, I feel like I should take that. Uh, nah, you know what, I have enough blueberries, it doesn't matter. Although, that does remind me, I should probably drink a little water right now. I'm not going to worry about sand at the moment. Let's go ahead and craft you. And glass I don't really want right now. Now I should also mention that I'm running the default settings for a medium difficulty, but I did notice one thing that I didn't mention and you should have noticed by now if you're familiar with what the absolute default settings look like. And that's that I am not running the standard timers. I'm running fast timers. That's in part because, one, I don't have the patience, and two, it doesn't make for great video when you're just waiting, waiting, waiting. I've actually tried playing by that before with those timers, and it's really not bad, but I'm not of the opinion it makes a great video. I already have enough downtime as is that... I'd really like to limit that if possible, so that's why I play on the fast timers. Yes, it is easier, but that's not so much a big deal. Now I'm just kind of looking around here. Obviously I'm playing a bit of a nomadic game right now. But I'm hoping I'll find some other sort of building maybe something I can hang out in for a little while. Now that I have the clay, I wouldn't mind spending a game day just kind of getting myself all sorts of stuff ready to go. But it is a little early in the day to just hunker down and do that. Might end up doing that before night falls, though, just to kind of get a head start on all that stuff. Well, I guess it's not technically a head start when I've already been hoping to do it for a while now. How many cans do I have? 27. That should get me enough for a couple of ingots, I think. I don't really have any... Um, I have some fragments, so I'll probably need to collect some more at some point, too. 
Oh, sorry. I leave death mode on these days, but I promise you I'm not using it. And actually, I forgot that was on, really, because I had that for when I was doing my, um, uh, what was that, uh, doing my demolition run. And then I had it because my game save somehow, I don't know what happened to that, we'll say ended up being corrupted, so I teleported myself back to the house instead of running through it to do my last episode on the previous game, so that was all. Nothing particularly exciting. I'm going to go ahead and convert these guys right now, just because that'll essentially free up a slot. Now the question here is, dare I cross over? In my brief messing around, I found myself in the wasteland and running from dogs. It was kind of a pain. I don't think I died to them, at least not initially. But I figured I would not go hit the wasteland right away when I played my real game, which is where we're at now. I would prefer to give it a, a game day or two before I do that. Maybe three. At some point here, I'm going to need to stop down and refill my water. And here, while I'm thinking about this... Yep, I know. You saw me. I wasn't trying to hide. Let's go ahead and get off the dirt there. And eat a bunch of blueberries while on the run. I'm going to kind of hug this, though, just to kind of keep an eye on what's across the way. I'm not waiting long enough when I'm trying to eat these stupid things. There we go. Now it's going up. I do like how dense the forest is for this biome. Kind of cool. You do have to pay attention because you might end up running into something on your way through. Hasn't happened yet. Well, not this game save, but definitely happened before. Okay, so let's take a look here. 892 to 73. Not that far from the hub, really. Basically, I can travel west for a while here, and then I'll be pretty darn close to the hub. And like I said, I'm not really ready to go in and infiltrate the city and see what I can find. I'll end up spending the night over here somewhere on this side of the wasteland before I head in. Maybe even on the other side right there. Lots of zombies around, at least going by the noise. Let's go ahead and kill you, because I think you're a nurse. Yep. Okay, cool. Antibiotics. Ever so helpful. In my goofing around game, when I was just kind of playing around, what I eventually died from was dysentery. I had let it get... Well... I let it work its way out to a level 2 infection, or level 2 dysentery, or something. And when you get to that level, it not only takes stamina from you, it takes 5 health every 5 seconds, or something like that. So, despite my attempt to use a bunch of antibiotics to keep myself alive, or not antibiotics, uh, painkillers, sorry. Yeah, it just, it didn't happen, so I ended up dying. But, you know, what can you do? It happens. And theoretically, I should have not died, because had I been paying a little closer attention, I would have whipped up some goldenrod tea and taken care of that quickly, but, well, can't be on the ball on everything, so 
that didn't happen. I don't have a sniper scope, do I? Nope, sniper barrel. One of the fun things I would like to try out, you can use the sniper barrel as a telescope, essentially. But since I don't have one of those, I can't really test that out now, can I? Okay, so let me get away right quick here. So I'd like to take a better look at the map. Yeah, see, I've been over here before, obviously. That's kind of where I started out close to... Well, pretty much the beginning of this save game was right over here. So I've kind of come full circle. Let's just go ahead and cut through the forest for now. There might be something interesting there. So I'll rejoin you in a little while here. And with any luck, there will be something interesting in the forest. And if not, then I'm just going to start working on some place to stay for the night because, well, I would really like to get some forging and that sort of stuff done. And, oh man, that just bugs. What can you do? Poor, poor aim. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode. See you later.